and I'm gonna go through all three. Ready? Okay, cool. Go, quick. So Take a shot, hard. That's all it is, buddy. Hit the nose. You okay? <laughs> Hit one more. All right, one more. Cool, cool. So, one. Are you got it? Yeah, teach me All grappling. Right. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? Today, I watched a really cool video from Faraz Ahabi, and uh, he had Silver Fox on his channel at the TriStar Gym channel, and it was an awesome video today. I'm so pumped. Um, I'm not gonna show the defense today, but I'm just gonna talk a little bit about getting a guillotine. They had a guillotine video. It's like 45 minutes long. You guys need to digest that information. Uh, it's awesome. So I'm not really gonna try to go into that too much, but literally just this week in practice, I was showing uh, a similar, basically the same guillotine and uh, talking about a lot of the same details. And I showed some things that just were a little different, but I really love what Silver Fox had to show. Uh, I believe his name's Pravik. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but either way, uh, Coach Pravik. He's, he's awesome. So I've seen him before and I love, I love listening to him. He's a killer. So um, I was talking with my, my students on Monday about can you just go down and like start to take a shot, like a double leg, for example. Uh, can you go, go, go right-handed, please? Okay. Yeah, because I, I got some certain things going on with my foot. So go ahead. Okay, so guys, when he's here, a lot of times you guys learn how to sprawl, okay? Obviously, I want to down block. I don't want this guy grabbing my legs. But because I want the guillotine, I'm not gonna sprawl. I'm gonna do something different, okay? And if you get blasted off your feet, it won't work so well. But this is gonna work well for most of the people you compete against, okay? So watch the movement that I'm gonna make right now. You just stay where you are, okay? Just stay relaxed, dude, you know, ready? So watch, I'm just gonna stick my butt back and I'm gonna smash him with my chest, like this. See that? Look at my where my butt, I don't want you to stare at my butt with a camera, but, but the point is, look at what I've done. I'm like, I'm not sprawling. I'm just trying to crush him with my chest, like boom, like this. That's my move. So when the guy shoots, I go. You feel that, Gino? It's a weird, it's not a sprawl. It's like getting hit with a rock. <laughs> yeah, like, guys, my chest is just doing this. Smash! Right there. And what it does is it's gonna give me a little pocket of air, which is what I need. What he needs is he needs contact. Shoot. If he glues himself with his head, man, there's no guillotine here, guys. So, see, I can't get, see his chest? I can't, I can't get it. You can move around. Uh, uh, Alfred, just see the different angles. See, look at this picture. People say, why do you shoot, say, why do you shoot a double leg? Aren't you gonna get guillotined? No, because if you shoot in good position, the guy tries to guillotine, and you see, he takes me down, oh my God, that shoulder pierces my rib cage, my chest, I'm, I'm just feeling it, and he passed the side control, and now I lose, right? So watch what I'm gonna do. Right here, I'm not sprawling, I'm just going like this. That's it. Now once I do that, now I wrap the neck. So I'm not sprawling to get a guillotine. I'm doing this move and then getting a guillotine. Go. See that? Feel all that pressure? Keep driving so you can feel it. See, see how I'm like kind of sprawling but I'm not? Yeah. Keep driving. And eventually you got me, right? Yeah. But during that time, grab it. This is my favorite guillotine grip, guys. Choking mechanism, right here. Choking mechanism, grab it, simple. Not this, not this, not this, not this. None of this, none of this, this, this. Not all that, none of this. Okay, simple here. No thumb, don't do this. Chest smashes him down, boom, lock him. Okay, lock. Now once I lock, you notice I got his neck? Because if I was here, you could get your head up and see your good position. 
But when I go like this, see that chest hit you? Mm -hmm. Try to keep your, try to keep, click, bam, caught his neck. And right now, turn, 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 turn. I've got his arm too. I don't like the arm and guillotine as much, but we'll be okay. Now what I do, guys, immediately before he makes his next play, I crush the guy's head. So I'm gonna lean over here to the head. So get her right here. I never want him to take me this way. This is how I get hurt. Over here. I'll get bombed. See that? Yeah. So immediate, crush his head. As I crush his head, look where my right foot went. Right there. Okay? Now, I've got his arm over on this side. That's not what I want, but I would rather have no arm. But now I've got this position. He's not gonna pass my guard. I'm gonna hit the ski. See that? And I've got two ways. I can take him this, this way, over here, and turn, and take him down like this. Slide over the mount, or come back on top, okay? Or, uh, we're gonna go over that in a second, okay? First, first let me do the other one. Try to walk towards me, like you were. One, I use this foot on the mat, and I do my little crescent kick sweep. Boom. And if you have arm in, it's great time to go anaconda, or Huffa Mendes leg assist, and anaconda. Very good time. Or you keep the position, up, and you come up on top. I have the arm in as the guy, I'm based on my head. Sportively, obviously not on concrete, but sportively, I'm based on my head. He tries to move. See how I'm right there? And now I'm gonna mount, and look at how I finish. This leg is not down here, and I'm not square. I turn on his head, and I put my heel like this. Next, I, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Next, I squeeze. So, this is up here as much as possible. Could, arm could be in, always better with no arm. It could be the one arm like uh, Silver Fox was teaching. The one arm, I call it the Chi Chi choke. I grab my little boob. But, um, it's up to you. There's lots of details there. So, let's get back to it. Counter the guy's shot with a chest smash on his, on his shoulder back area. And let's lock that guillotine. He goes, takes a shot. I'm in my stance, I'm moving. And he got, boom, I, I just plant, plant down on him. He's driving me, keep driving, drive, 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 drive. See how I crush his head? And now, I'm gonna either sweep him to my right, or I'm gonna cinch it tight. And then here's the detail I use. Remember, uh, Faraz was talking a lot about, and, and he's right, he was setting it up perfect for Silver Fox to teach the details. The old school pull. Don't do that. You pull, the guy's head's gonna pop out, okay? So some of us are talking a lot about shoulder goes forward, right? Guys, here's the detail I like to teach my students. I put my chin on his spine, which kind of puts that shoulder forward. Watch my chin. That's where I put my chin. I go chin right there on the spine, like this, here. Now, try to pull your head up. Yeah, you can, right? And now, as I'm here, I could wrap and tap him, or I could crescent kick sweep him to the right, or if for some reason, Gino is a beast, watch out, I'm gonna go this way. He walks towards me kind of hard. I could roll him this way. See that knee on the belly? And now continue to try to move, Gino. Try to move. Now I'm here, now watch. Swivel around him out. Next. I don't want to be in the position I'm in right now. I want to crush his head. Okay, keep trying to move. And now I'm going to drop on his head and look at my left foot. I stomp it into the mat and now I'm crushing his head as I squeeze. Just like that. Sometimes I have a grapevine with this one. See that grapevine hook? Sometimes I hook that. Sometimes I don't need it. But my hips are turned sideways. Try to move, Gino. And if he bridges me, uh, bridge to your left. That's okay, keep going. I'm right here and I'm crunched. And I'm already finishing, he's in danger right there. Okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm pumped up tonight. I'm sorry. So let's do a couple, let's do a quick one, and then we'll be done. I know you gotta, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do real quick, and I'm gonna go through all three. Ready? Go, quick, take a shot, hard. That's 
That's all it is, buddy. You okay? <laughs> Here, one more. All right, one more. So, one. Keep, keep that on top. Try to get back on top. Try to get get on top. Me. Stay on top of me. Okay? This is brutal. This is fun. All right, <laughs> All right thank, thank you so much. <coughs> I'm sorry. Remember, guys, when things move fast, it sometimes doesn't go perfectly as planned. That's life. But you have to be able to adapt. What did I try to teach you today? I wanted to teach you smash down with your chest. Make a little space so you guys can make the lock. Once you, once you make the lock, crush the guy's head. Put all the weight on his head so that you're putting his head in the mat like a DDT. Pro wrestling, if you didn't know. Drop on the side. In this case, we're doing a guillotine where we use our foot across the belt line with our shin bone, and then we can wrap his body for the traditional crunch chin on the guy's spine. Bring everything together and crunch sideways as you close the deal, keeping your elbow in. Thank you guys so much for everybody that uh, helps me out here at Teach Me Grappling. Thank you guys all. I've got so many messages. <coughs> I'm just buried right now in messages. People are ordering products. You guys want merchandise? I got some, but I still don't have a website that's working. <laughs> but everybody's emailing me, ordering rash guard shorts, all that good stuff. If you guys want something like that, go ahead and shoot me an email at coachbrianpeterson at gmail.com. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. I'm out. I'll see you next time.